I've been into a little bit of an odd kick lately. I just can't seem to get enough of these microphone boom arms. They just articulate so nicely and... I mean, I'm sure I could think of 20 different ways to use these things. To avoid starting off too crazy, microphone holder, GoPro holder, iPhone holder. There is a bit of a conflict of interest with the iPhone right now. A light, widescreen light, upside down widescreen light. Aluminum flashing on a stick, a flashlight holder, a tapered dowel holder, tapered dowel with light stuck on it holder, the camshaft holder. I couldn't find a crank, and then I remembered a crank shaft in my driveway for some reason. And then I realized it wasn't a crank shaft, it's a camshaft. We're gonna camshaft to 11. Airbrush holder, router power cord holder for keeping that cord out of the way when routing. Milk frother. Bendy flex thing, multi-clamp, torch holder, fishing pole holder, hand holder. Doing stuff is hard sometimes. And last but certainly not least, an air hose hooked up to an overdrive pedal for clearing away shavings on the fly. Well, that makes 20, I guess. How about some tips? First thing I do is take a 3 8 dowel. If it's wood, hot melt glue. If it's metal, epoxy. If the epoxy gives out, I'll weld it. Then you can drill 3 8 inch holes all over the place. Workbench, kitchen countertop, articulate to your heart's content. Just slide it in there, slide it out. The second tip is pay attention to what bracket you're getting. This bracket has just bent metal here, which will bend back that way if you over tighten it or if you just use the arm. Stay away from this one or take it apart and use it as router jig hardware. The other one, this is very strong. I've cranked this down extremely tight, hasn't broken, hasn't bent. If you are using it in a place where you don't want holes, get one like this or better. Third tip would be look for one that has a knob right here. This is a particularly useful place to have a knob for moving this up and down. This also clamps this shaft right here so you can rotate it around by just loosening and tightening this knob. So anyway, I use this knob a lot. Now the two brands, that I've tried, Aokio and Niwer. The Aokio one did not have a knob and it had the crummy style bracket. It was like 10 bucks. The Niwer had the knob, even though it wasn't in the pictures, and had the newer style bracket. So it's 13 bucks. I'll put a link in the description. Take your luck as far as if you get the knob or not, but you gotta at least get the nice bracket. So I guess I'd better wrap this up somehow. If you are trying to put tripods places or light stands places, or just have better lighting above your workpiece, um, this may solve a lot of problems for you and be quite the multitasker.